Well, hello my loves and welcome to today's video. Good morning, good day, good evening, whatever it is. Happy day. I am so excited to bring this video to you today. So, all right, here's a scoop. I am in Wisconsin. I love antiquing and thrifting in Wisconsin. Just true country picking, good stuff to be found. I adore it. Today, I will actually be picking at a flea market truly in the country. Today, I am in Adams, Wisconsin and we are at this darling outdoor flea market that is literally in a small town with a population of like what like 1900 or something like that it, it's pretty crazy but I'm so excited to check it out now for those of you that are new here my name is Ashley I both collect and resell vintage goods and antiques I do offer my own online boutique ashleyroseantiques.com where you can buy all the pretty little vintage treasures and collectibles that you see me pick up here in my videos Today's video has a special twist because I am going to be on the hunt for cottagecore primitives and just basically farmhouse stuff. Now, for those of you wondering what cottagecore is, it's kind of an aesthetic that idealizes simple living and just if you think of a beautiful cottage with some pretty little teapots or whatever, um, that's what comes to mind for me when I think of cottagecore, but I love that stuff. It is true to my heart. So I recently announced on my Instagram, Ashley Rose Antiques, that I'm sort of looking to refine my image and that's what I want to bring more to my boutique is shabby chic, cottagecore, Victorian, and genuine good primitives. So that's what we're going to be on the hunt for today. Now before we get to treasure hunting, if you guys enjoy this type of content and you love shop with me vlogs and videos, antiques, all the good stuff, please do hit that subscribe button down below to join both the family and fun here on my channel. All right, I, I just can't get enough of, um, I'm looking around, I'm getting antsy, I'm so excited. Let's get to picking. Let's see all right welcome to the flea market let's check it out oh my gosh i am seeing so many goodies already i am loving it it's gonna be such a happy day i don't even know where to start we might as well start right here though so. oh a pink guitar <laughs> that is so cute it's only 25 dollars that would be so cute to just have on display. I can't play guitar to save my life, but that's that's quite lovely, I have to say. Ooh, let's head on in. An aisle full of random things. Uh, brass horse. Oh, how much do you think they're asking? Five bucks. But stop it. No, ten bucks, but that's really not bad. That's super cute. We might have to grab this. Ooh, I love this etched brass like vase. Very, very nice. Five bucks there. That's not bad. Hmm, I might grab that actually. I like it. Ooh, what's over here? Let's go inside. <laughs> wow. Ooh, what is this? I wonder what it was. Is. It's a thing. Well, it's, it's very interesting. Comment below if you know. You got some big brass bowls. Those would make for some nice planters. Ooh, oh wow, that's actually really cool. $20 with that really nifty figure. Y'all know by now I love food dogs and they kind of resemble food dogs. And the best part is if you flip it over, it's actually marked Hong Kong on the bottom. So it is true vintage. It's not just, you know, a newly made piece. So I love this. I'm gonna definitely grab this. There's so many good things here. You need to beat your rugs. They got you covered. Ooh, are these lightning rod bulbs? I want to say they are. So it says insulators, but these are not insulators. These are actually great for resale. $20 is a very fair price for these. Some colors fetch quite a bit much. I actually have a few in this color. Yeah, these are definitely lightning rod globes. Wow, $20 is a great deal. But the caps are usually on the... Um, That's usually on the metal, you know. The lightning rod itself. The lightning rod itself would be on the caps. Yeah. You can probably find something that would work just like a cap too, you know. Yeah. Anything that drops down over there has a hole in the middle that the rod went through. And you could do what on the whole box? 60. 60, okay. All right, let me think on this. Okay. 
All right, so 50 bucks. All right. All right, 50 Sounds bucks good. for the whole thing. Thanks a well, lot, Thank guys. you, I appreciate it. You bet, have a good one. Thank you. Yay. See, they're so fun. Can I take the whole box with the... You can take the whole box, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. Check them even more. All right. Well, thank you. All right, have a good one. Yeah, thanks, you too. Puppy. I'm so excited. We got the whole box for 50. These are so charming. I love them. We're gonna go put them in the truck and keep them safe. Gosh, you all have no idea how happy I am. I just scored four lightning rod globes for $50 total. Now these do fetch uh, very well on eBay online. These do fetch a um, pretty significant amount. So I'll definitely have some resale value to these. If you ever see these guys out while you're thrifting and sourcing and you find them cheap, pick them up. And then, so I got $50 here and then he combined this whole lot here for $30. So the first booth and I'm already 80 deep. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting some good things. All right, let's get back to it. Babe, look. Oh, cool. oh, oh, it's an old cased photo with two sides in it. Thirty dollars. Oh, oh, I love that. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's got a horse and a carrier. Oh, really? I want to yeah. see. That's cool. Oh my goodness! Can I please see in here? So this one's thirty, and that one is thirty-five. Thirty-five. I think they're pretty. I'll give it to you for sixty for both of them. Sixty for both. Yeah. Okay. Do you have more, he said? I got them, but I don't know exactly where they are. Oh, okay. Because I got bins loaded back there with oh, stuff. Oh, no. I moved out of here, now I moved back in again. Oh. Oh. Now he's teasing me. <laughs> I am so stoked, but I can't tell you guys why just yet until we leave the booth. But this guy's got an incredible collection. A lot of really good stuff in here. Oh, really sure nice locked cases place. here. Just everything is really, really, yeah. really good. I hear you. <laughs> Cameraman, <laughs> slacking. All right, y'all. So really quick, we're going to peel away, and I'm going to talk to you why I was so excited about these two pieces. For starters, this one here is a beautiful example of a double cased tin type, and the case itself is in immaculate condition. These pieces are over 120 years old, so to find them in mint condition is incredible. And to see two photographs in one case, that's very rare as well. Now panning on over to this guy, this is the bread winner. He may be hard to see, but that's because this is actually an ambrotype. This is actually a photo on glass. Now I got really, really excited when I saw this because these go for a ton. And when I say these, I'm talking about um, amber types in general are more sought after than tin types, but the horse and buggy that is something that really really sells Well, so if you're out picking and you see old photos Definitely keep content and um, what's in the image in mind when you pick them up Because sometimes something as simple as a dog in the photograph or a horse can drive up the prices and this guy could fetch an easy 150 on eBay so um, yeah, I was really excited. I didn't want to talk him from the seller and basically let him know what he missed out on. But now you guys know kind of a little beginner's tips what to look for when you're out and about sourcing. So I don't know, I love this piece. I'm gonna hang on to it for a bit, but I might eventually list it in the captured collection up on my website. And that's enough rambling. Let's get back to the video. Those are really pretty. All right. These cranberry red yep. Uh, yep. oil lamps. I love them. Ooh, fancy butter dishes too. Look at the little owl. <laughs> He's cute. I wonder how much he is. Hundred bucks. Owl. Boo boo. One dollar for the owl. Couldn't live without it. He's super cute. I love his little fluffy uh, feathers there on his head. <laughs> I think owls are cute. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, take care now. Good luck. That is so cute. This is so me. Oh my gosh, back in the day, y'all know I used to collect heavily my hand painted barn scenes, and this one's even got a cow. Okay, yes, I did. I collected cowbells. How much is this? Let's flip this tag on it. Oh my god, it's like two. The suspense. How much? Where are you? Dang it. It looks like a 
faded tin. That is so cute. And it's got the original clapper inside. Y'all know I got to have that original clapper in there. Yep. So cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. I need. All right. Oh, and then this over here. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, these are pretty popular right now. Oh, and they're appropriately priced as so. Dang it. Got the cute little bell for $10. I love cows. I actually have like a ring, kind of in a pattern of a cow because they're my favorite animal ever. <laughs> it's true, it's a true story. <laughs> but I think that is just darling. And it's protected with like some glaze on it. So that's really nice. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. We might come back for those frogs because it'll haunt me. They'll haunt me for sure. <laughs> yeah, my mom has literally a matching pair. She well, not like that. It's like a single frog. They're on each uh, on their own separate little pen. Uh, it's just one frog. Like okay. Not really okay. Yeah. Ooh, do you hear me? They can hear me coming a mile away with this bell. <laughs> so I got a bell. I got an owl, and I got two old photos. And it's just a beautiful sunny day. Now these people are selling in style. I love RVs. I want an RV so bad, but let's take a gander. All right, what do we got? Lisa Larson Galore. Oh, look at the little thing. Little thing. We got some mushroom. Uh, Hello. Salt and pepper shake. Hi there. Oh my goodness, we got a stowaway on this cute little creamer. Look at him. Oh! He's crawling around. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, it's a tiny little uh, spider. Anyway, <laughs> right here on the bottom of this. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's Does like it a really more? tiny one. <laughs> Does oh. the spider cost more? <laughs> it costs 20 bucks. Right. <laughs> the spider is, it's so tiny though. It's cute. Look at that. <laughs> you do got a tiny little spider here. He's the star of the show here. All right, yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Out, drop that, break it All right, here, take it from me, take it from me. <laughs> I do like this, though. This is really cute. All right, I got that's adorable. Three bucks. Yeah, that's Sasha. I love this three-piece set. Ten bucks. So it's like a little centerpiece council yep. thing. Yep. I like that. It's, it's actually in pretty good condition. Whoop. I don't think there's any... Now, there's a little wear on the paint, of course. Yeah, that's to be expected, okay. but those are darling. And I would think Ten it's bucks. probably from around depression area. Maybe a year, 30s. like, yeah, 40s. I was going to say 40s, maybe 40s. It's that's so what I would cute. think. I love the yellow. You don't usually see yellow so much, nope. and it's a very happy spring color. Yep. I like that. All right, we're going to get the set. So super cute. But look at this little macrame hanging here. Three dollars. I could almost turn this into an owl. <laughs> I love macrame owls. So cute. What do we got on this uh, double uh, swan thing? Oh, that's toasty. Wow, that's really pretty. Ten bucks. That's that's delightful. I believe that that is a brass piece. Oh wow! What is what is that? <laughs> Yeah. I know what it is, but take your head out of the gutter. <laughs> it's just very interesting. Oh wow, well. that's such cool stuff. I love this. Oh no, this is darling too. Oh, a smudge pot. Oh my goodness, the patina on this. <gasps> I need this. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna grab this too. I can't live without this. The color, the patina. Oh, everything. Yeah, love it. Thank you. That is cool. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, she likes the the rustier and crustier. The yes. Place. Yeah. I kind of do it away. A lot of yeah. people don't understand oh. it. All right, y'all, and we are back on this lovely hutch here that we just cannot get enough of. You'll actually see a full video and get a full tour of everything on here in a different video coming soon. But anyways, I wanted to correct myself before anybody else did. I uh, don't know why I called this a smudge pot. This is a primitive cauldron, and I love it so much. Now these really come to mind when I think of a uh, farmhouse or cottage. You could use them for a wide variety of uses. Here you can see I'm using it to burn some loose incense. You can mix herbs in here. A lot of times even people have used these to perform spells with. You can mix things up in there, do whatever you want with it. It's just a tiny little cauldron. I know it's adorable and it's cute and the colors 
were so rusty and crusty and me, I had to have them. So snatch this beauty for just five bucks and I think that's a steal. Oh, what's she his name? Bite. Girly. 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 Oh, hi, Girly. She doesn't she's bite. She's so happy. Yep. Oh, yep. and she's gone, just like that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Girly. Oh. oh, she's in the shade. She's like, I'm living my best life over oh, yeah. here. <laughs> my oh, thank there you, you go. so Did much. you give them their change? Yes. Okay, yes. thank, right. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you bye, have a good day. You guys have a good day. Thank, thank you. Yeah, you. you too. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> All right, and really quick, we're going to peel away again, and I just wanted to show off this gorgeous set I got for just $10. Now, this is not its permanent place, but I just wanted to show you guys. I personally love the wear on it. You can see it's got really pretty silver and yellow, and I just love yellow. It's a very happy color, and you know what? The candle holders would even look good with some like blue, like lucite candles in there. That would really make the yellow pop, but... Yeah, it's just a really pretty piece. 10 bucks was a steal. Um, I have no idea really what you'd put in this guy here. Comment below if you have any ideas. I mean, you could use it for candy keys or really whatever the heck you want, but as a centerpiece, what would you put in there? Comment below. Hmm. All right. All right, well, it has been a pretty fun day so far. You can see that we got vendors this way and we pretty much conquered that whole area. And now we still have all of that to do. I just love the beautiful country setting we're in. Everyone's pretty friendly. We've only ran into one grouchy lady who didn't want me filming, but we won't talk about her. And uh, yeah, let's go do this other side. Okay, what is that? <laughs> the cash shoes. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just. Oh my gosh. That's Stop! the kind that just crunches and cracks and that, that one won't. Oh no, they'd actually probably cut the sack and then just. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Just basically out. destroy them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a bunch of knowledge. Well, they don't now I know. The actual nuts because they, the guy that used to come out to the farm, he actually kept them in the from home and he said they were great eating. Yeah. Oh, he would eat them. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, keep it, keep it. Some, some people don't. Some people don't. They don't mind what they eat at all. But the old <laughs> vet that we had, yeah, it was just amazing. That's deep. Yeah. Wow. He just had his pale steel, stainless steel pail with him. Just cut. Well, are they called Rocky Mountain Oysters? Yes, yeah. they are. Oh, you know. guys are too much right now. That's literally what they're called. <laughs> yeah. Rocky too much. Mountain Oysters. Yes, that is. Oh, my gosh. This is such a cute space you got here, though. Oh, thank you very much. Wow. See, my wife makes all that stuff. Oh, oh my goodness. This is definitely a cottage. Cottage and farmhouse. Rustic. Okay, yeah. Wow. So pretty. You got some old oil lamps here. So pretty. Well, now that we've talked about balls long enough, they got some pampered fur balls over here for your dogs. <laughs> kind of cute. Nice uh, change of pace. Oh my goodness, look at this old wicker. That's uh, all. Like doll's chair. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so precious. It's beautiful. It's only twenty five dollars. No way. Yes way. That is so cute. It's an old window hand painted. Babe, we need this. Look at twenty five dollars. That's it. That is amazing. I'm really just loving this whole market here, but I'm trying to stick to what we came here for: cottage core, farmhouse, and all the treasures. Don't be afraid. Come on in. Shoes years ago. Oh, I remember the hush, hush puppy shoes. It's a hush puppy whistle. Look at that. It's even got hush puppies on the back. I can't whistle to save my soul. They're only a dollar. I can I kind of whistle, to. but I'm not one of those. I can't do this whistle, you know, or I can't fingers whistle all, and that right. kind of stuff. Oh, wow. That's so cute. <laughs> I might have to grab this yeah, just so I in case I ever need to whistle. I have a granddaughter that does them. These are so cute. Oh, wow. What's under there, too? But she's also a bartender. Oh, he can whistle. Slash he beautician can. slash cosmetology professor. Oh, and wow. here's for him. He'll like Whoa. this. So it's got all the information on it. It's a mortar, right? Eh? It's a practice mortar, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. I can go down on it a little bit, but I couldn't down, go down on it too much because my husband That's would absolutely said. shoot me. Wow. What's the price on it? It's 110. I can do 90 without getting in trouble. Wow. Can we put the gunpowder back in it? <laughs> that 
that is the reason you can't sell them on eBay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is a crazy thing. We used sign. to be able to sell them marked duds like those are, right. you know. And now they stuck that. I just because they we can could, be drilled out. And, uh, we can make a good 4th of July show with this. Thing. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> just make sure it's not high, high, high fire like we're in right now. Right? right? <laughs> that is something. Wow. Oh, that wind. That's heavy. 20 bucks. You got a deal? <laughs> you are cute, aren't you? I got to live with this guy. <laughs> Oh, is that where you're from? Yeah, yeah, I miss it. I was gonna say, you don't have much of a southern accent there. Yeah, I was kind of all over the Midwest. I went to high school in Tennessee. I love this so much. We're grabbing the window, 20 bucks. It's so cool. I love the green. That's a very interesting color green too. Yep. It really pops against that black. I love it. Wait till you see what it looks like. Yeah, oh wow, look at the, look at it through like that. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to worry about getting broken anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Take care. You too. Bye. You guys have fun. All right, y'all. So I absolutely have to take a moment to show you guys this incredible piece here. Now, even just the colors used, this bright neon, almost like a tonic looking green, that is stunning. And truthfully, it is detailed. I didn't really realize even how detailed it was when I was filming, but looking at it, look at the detail, even in the marshlands there, the woodland it's pretty dang incredible and it is even artist signed there in the lower left corner i am absolutely in love with this piece i think 20 bucks was a steal i can't even believe she was asking as low as 25 for it so uh, definitely um whatever style you want it to be you know cottage uh, country rural farm woodland it's it's whatever so <laughs> i don't know this was just definitely my happy find of the day and i could not be more thrilled with it and here it is in all its glory of the sunshine all right guys we did it all and we're headed to the truck well first we found a treasure it's a genuine creepy old wasp nest it's, a it's not a honeycomb yeah. it's a wasp nest Oh, it. it ain't full of nothing. You're full of something though. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. I don't know why I'm holding it. At least nothing's alive and in it. But uh, yeah. So we got a lot of goodies. I love, love, love the window. I think that was our find of the day. We keep showing the non-painted side. <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. Oh, look at the way it uh, glistens in the sun. Well, today was fun. Did you love it? I loved it. You loved it so All much? It. Yeah. Every single bit of it. Now he did splurge off camera and he did buy some sweet pickles from some sweet old lady. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna try them right here right now because why not? <laughs> I can't open the jar of pickles. I got it. You gonna stick our dirty <laughs> hands in the jar? Dirty hands. Don't yeah. worry, we just lie salt. Right, we're gonna try it. Cheers to a good day. That was a good pickle. Mm. Good five dollar splurge you got there. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we had a really fun day of picking. I don't know how um, true to the cottage core aesthetic <laughs> that I managed to stay on track, but I really tried. But I got things that I really like, and I mean that's I, that's what I do when I shop. I don't just pick out whatever. I I want to stick to my own. Um, heart and what I like and that's kind of what I do and everyone's got their own taste and style and you know if you like my style then uh, you do and if you don't you don't that's all I gotta say about it <laughs> but yeah, yeah I think it was a uh, pretty fun I think the window is definitely like the buy of the day that's definitely your most favorite piece for sure well I love how that was like an know. indirect disagreement I personally like the uh, the horse and buggy oh with the ambro type yeah that was pretty exciting. Yeah, you're right. That was that was good. All right, guys. Well, comment down below how you think we did. Um, I didn't film every booth because there was some booths here that just, you know, didn't meet the criteria. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed shopping along with us. Don't forget to hit that big, beautiful thumbs up button down below if you haven't already, guys. It helps me out a ton. And please do leave a comment. I love reading what you guys have to say. It truly makes my day. And 
I just, I enjoy it. I'm being greedy here. Just leave a comment down below. Something as simple as a hi makes me smile. So I love it. All right, guys, I had so much fun. I hope you did as well. Have a happy day after this and I will see you in the next upload super soon. And get love some you. sweet pickles. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> oh, the camera. <laughs>